Well, new technology at Ascension St. John Hospital, renewing hope for patients suffering from heart disease. It works by protecting kidneys from being damaged by harsh dyes used to pinpoint heart trouble. And it keeps patients away from the much dreaded kidney dialysis. One patient I spoke with says it's given him a renewed spirit about life and his future. At 76, Dan Kowalski is an avid golfer. When did you start having uh, issues? But his energy on the golf course began to wane and he was fearful something was wrong. I started you know, feeling fatigued. He was advised to see Dr. Antonius Atala, a senior interventional cardiologist at Ascension St. John Hospital, who believed he had a blockage in his heart. He said I might have one, might have two, might have three. And I got a little alarmed. Under normal circumstances, when doctors search for blockages in your heart in the cath lab, they use nearly 100 cc's of contrast dye to locate the blockage. Dr. Tella told you that putting all of that dye in your system can destroy or help destroy your kidneys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's dangerous. Anytime a patient is on our table for us to do a diagnostic cardiac catheterization or intervention, we calculate the allotted amount of contrast material that we can use with that heart in their kidneys. Dr. Atala says there's been controversy about whether the contrast dye damages a patient's kidneys. So he significantly reduces the amount of contrast dye he uses in the cath lab. We have to kind of figure out a way where we standardize things to minimize the injury to the kidneys because of the dye. This is the initial procedure. So During Dan's first visit, Dr. Atala did what's called a fractional flow reserve study to get the initial pictures of the blockage. So the entire first procedure was actually done with about 12 cc's of dye total. Dr. Atala then consults with the nephrologist, the kidney doctor. Dr. Atala says in the past, a patient like Dan with a blockage would have been sent home with medication only instead of intervention for fear his kidneys would be damaged. So if there was the potential for damage. And a lot of patients like that, they are not allowed to get this procedure. They're not allowed, to, even though they need it, in many times. I mean, we have patients sometimes who actually come in with a heart attack and are not taken to the cath lab because of this. Now with this new technology using ultrasound and less contrast dye, the risk for damage to a patient's kidneys and lifelong dialysis is significantly lower and a patient like Dan can get back to enjoying life. So you feel really fortunate? I feel blessed that I had Dr. Atala. I bet he does. It's estimated that 940,000 adults in Michigan have chronic kidney disease and many don't even know it. If you've been turned away from a procedure for fear, an intervention will hurt your kidneys. You can get a consultation at Ascension St. John and it might just return you to a life full of activities you absolutely love. Dave.